What's up guys, Omar Esau here at Fortis Fitness, next to my favorite exercise of all time. Do you like press? I'm telling you something today. I'm telling you that you're stronger than you think you are, probably. And I'm not giving you some pseudo-motivational bullshit. What I'm talking about is the fact that most 45 pound plates at commercial gyms don't actually weigh 45 pounds. Now you might be thinking to yourself, what the fuck are you talking about? Well, a visual demonstration is in order. So, we got ourselves a nice little that says 45 pound plate, international, right? Standard, it must be 45 pounds. Now this scale is a pretty expensive scale. So I'll just turn on, cooperate. <laughs> if we weigh this fucker right here, you'll notice something. It is actually 47.4 pounds. It's 2.4 pounds more than the 45 pounds it says it is. Now, let me show you something else. Okay, so you're thinking to yourself, maybe all those plates by that manufacturer, maybe they're heavier, right? They're all standardized to 47.4. Wrong, motherfucker. This is the exact same brand, from the exact same stock. Same weight plate. Now let's weigh this one and see what it says. So the other one was 47.4. This one right here, fucking 43.4. Exact same brand of plates, but if you notice, there is a four pound difference. Now, I'm not really good at math, but let's do a simple calculation. If you're lifting with plates that are three pounds heavier than what they say they are, and you deadlift 500 pounds, or 495, five plates aside, so three extra pounds every single plate, that's 10 plates, that's 30 additional pounds. Your 495 is actually at 525. Put it the other way, if you're actually lifting with 44 pounds instead, one pound less, and you're once again utilizing 10 weight plates, that's 10 pounds less. This is why oftentimes many people, when they go to different gyms, and they have different types of plates, they'll have a different effect on the workout itself, the training itself. People will say, oh, I had the best workout of my life at this other gym. Odds are, a good percentage of that, the weight plates were different. Maybe they were lighter. Oftentimes, the iron plates right here, they're in general heavier. The old ass ones are probably heavier. So they're probably 46, maybe 47, maybe 45, but certainly, they're oftentimes, we found a rare one here, where they're not. Rubber plates, on the other hand, they tend to weigh a little less. So. When you go to a gym, when you try out a different facility, and you find you have either a great workout or a shit workout, consider maybe it's not just the mood, but the fact that the weight plates weigh differently. And once again, if you're calculating, if you're training with 80% of your one rep max, if you're calculating your training as percentages, and you're training with weight plates that you know oftentimes are two, three pounds heavier, and then suddenly use another set of weight plates and they're two pounds lighter, well that's a five to maybe 10% difference in terms of your training percentage. That could really fuck with you. Now, I'll say this, I wouldn't really worry about it because unless you buy a super expensive plates or unless your gym has a pair of standardized weight plates that are truly calibrated, every single gym faces this. Most, by and large, most newer gyms, they actually might weigh a little lighter. So as long as you get used to the weight plates, you should be fine. It's just something to note for yourself. The weight plates that say 45 pounds aren't really 45 pounds. I know, it was a mind fuck. The first person that told me this was Jeremy. Uh, and the good news is, at a powerlifting meet, if you're used to training with 47.4 pound plates, if you're used to like my 555 deadlift, maybe it was 580, maybe it was 570, I don't know, we didn't weigh it out. But if you're used to that weight and you go to a powerlifting meet where the weights are standardized, then your 555, that's actually 570, would feel a hell of a lot lighter. So that's just something for you guys to consider, not to get too wrapped up about, but if you are interested, you can buy, if you have a home gym, standardized weight plates. They cost a pretty penny, but they're worth it so you know the amount that you're actually training with. And just consider, then when you go to another gym and you're having the workout of your life and you're like, oh shit, I had a good training session because I got my dick sucked, you could be wrong. What actually could happen, you're just training with lighter weights at that other gym. That's all I had to say. I gotta go now. I gotta train with my favorite piece of equipment of all time, the leg press right here. So if you excuse me, we got a little date going on. I'll see you in the next video.